Nextzilla just destroyed his physique because he looks insane and not in a good way. Since he's been training his legs like crazy, so now they look so massive, it's almost unbelievable. The biggest legs <laughs> I've ever seen on a human being. Which is exactly why his new physique is attracting more criticism than praise. Because people think Nextzilla is taking things too far and ruining the perfect aesthetic could have had since his legs always take the spotlight. Not to mention the fact that his his neck's a whopping 20 inches. This dude looks like an alien. Man, I wonder if that's Photoshop. Like, there's no way that he's that freaky looking. Which means Rubiel Mascara has one of the most unique physiques ever, but it might be ruining his chances of making it big like the other pros. The guy's neck, it looks absolutely ridiculous. So is this Nexilla's peak form or does he have a long way to go? It's easy to see why people pile up on Rubiel, since he's got quads that would put the pros to shame. That kind of stuff isn't as impressive when you're swimming with the big sharks. In fact, it's more of a hindrance for Nexzilla, given how it ruins the balance of his physique. Pretty much every part of his physique is pretty insane, so the back is humongous, the traps, the arms, the hamstrings, even the calves are humongous. Pretty much everything is pretty jacked. However, he's been getting mixed reviews. Bro, skip leg day, please. You're a future Mr. Olympia champ for sure. They're not ready for those quads. But the guy's just so massive, he even makes Larry Wheels look like the younger brother. So a lot of people are wondering whether the backlash over his cartoonish physique is the real reason he suddenly pulled out of the Arnold Expo 2024. However, the real story's even worse, since apparently nobody financially supports supported Nexilla to go to the expo. I'm gonna vouch for him to be here in America, but I'm not gonna pay my own money to make it all happen. So his crazy. sponsor didn't want him to come here to compete? It's just not paid, that's all I gotta say. Which means Rubiel missed out on some important experience and prep right before he starts his journey for Mr. Olympia 2024. Although a lot of people think he's got a shot at winning, even Larry Wheels sees the potential. Soon to be on the Olympia stage, I'm sure, with a physique like this. The man was born to be a bodybuilder. But with a hungry Hattie Chupan training like a beast to redeem himself, Derek Lunsford trying to continue his Olympia streak, Samson Dowda going all out with prep, Mr. Olympia is going to be anything but a walk in the park for Nexilla, even with his unique and shredded physique. Because unless he's able to make his upper body stand out just as much as his quads, he's going to have a hard time going against some of the veterans. But everybody can't wait to see just how shredded and lean Nexilla is going to look as we start nearing the next Mr. Olympia. So does Rubiel have a shot at clinching the title or is his physique only good enough for views?